Good morning, everyone. Today we are in Stratford, and it is not Stratford, England, not William Shakespeare's birthplace, it is Stratford, Ontario. However, they have a theater here too. A city is well known from its theater, of course, festival, and Mr. Justin Bieber's birthplace. Mr. Beaver grew up here. We are walking just one block from Danton. We should turn around. On the river side, a river name is Avon River. And when the season starts, they start with the swamp festival. They let the swamps alone from the winter place and they walk through the city to this river. Unfortunately, I not see any swamp today. I just see cigars and some dog food there. And some tree on the other side and this side. Beautiful colors. We are in front of the theater. The theater name is Tom Patterson Theater. I have no idea who was Tom Patterson. However, this is the, there is this Stratford Festival is going on. I think is until end of October, until end of this month, and this is the place where Mr. Beaver started his career. He used to like busking, playing music with his guitar in front of this theater, make YouTube videos and post it on YouTube until one producer recognized how humongous talent he is and then it's changed. There are Canada geese on the river, looks like today is not a swamp festival, it's a geese festival, many geese. On summer time on this river, a lot of activity going on, like dragon boat fest, or you can rent a pedal boat, a canoe, or just walk around. It's very beautiful at summer, it's nice. Fall to the leaves changing the colors. So here is the bus, it's just advertising this Stratford festival. I believe it belongs to the festival. It's some see the Broadway musical and the program, and they just bring some maybe tourists, or maybe some um, actors. I don't know, but it's stopped there where it's not supposed to stop. So Probably it has some permission to do so. Oh, this is a, 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 a shuttle from Toronto to Stratford. Yeah. A, a 34 dollar for Toronto to Stratford, bringing the people, which is a bargain. 34 dollar, you pay more for gas. Apparently, Mr. Beaver did not forget Stratford. He had the city a lot. He's donating money. And the city didn't forget Mr. Beaver either. They have a street named after him. He has a museum after him. And I believe the house where his grandparents used to live is still here. Uh -uh. I saw one video on YouTube of him, he played the drum in the basement and I don't think he was older than five, six years old. So he already been into music and I made a little research and 
his mom has some some musician background or somehow related to the music or her friends being a musician that's how mr beaver got into music so it's still an avon river here a name stratford is very european and the city itself is very european too we're gonna hit downtown very soon, hopefully. And uh, lots of small shops, restaurant. And one more thing is, is Stratford, in like many Canadian cities, started or late 1800s by emigrates, mainly. German, Irish, and Dutch. It was a farming community. Then later on, the train, getting to connected to the train, we built a train truck, train station, and the city turned to be a repair place for the train. Today is a lot of industry, a lot of factory here. I'm not sure why, because it's not close to anything, not close to the main highway, not close to the main city, but still. A lot of factory here. So we are getting back for Mr. Beaver again. For his young age, like he was between hockey and music apparently he was a really good hockey player for to his age and until today he's an excellent skater so personally i believe if he, he not turned to be a musician he would be maybe an nhl player today i never know and we cannot find out because it's already happened oh, yeah here is a boat rental place Bo even boat rentals on the Avon River. Boat rentals, downstairs. Upstairs is a restaurant, downstairs is a boat rentals, but it's too cold for boating. So we are getting close to downtown. Actually, it's already downtown. But the back road for the main street, back side of the main street, ice cream, antique. Many small shops, as I said. Keen little handcrafted treasures. This looks like an Asian store, no? This is kind of, yeah, the decoration is Asian. So we have to go that way, yeah? So we are standing in the main intersection book and stories and beautiful church we go, we're gonna go that way so a city cat this old building the original face I'm pretty sure it's, the interior is changed, but the exterior is the original. There is a native gallery, Canadian native art. Coffee. Beauty. Is it remind you for anything? Like I don't know. It's kind of like 
very busy and it's in the end of October actually middle of October <laughs> Bentley's wine, food, coffee, bakery This one, the art shop. Here is a record store. I have a bunch of record for sale. I'm not sure they're buying. The oh, sun is not on my favor again. Be walking on the sun. We should have walked the other way. Okay. Go, go in the other side, no? We go in the other side of the road and go across. What is this? Boutique. Boutique. Look at it. Nice. Stratford, Ontario, Canada. It is a church. So we cross the road. Ha! Huh, look at this. Poppy pit stop and the drinking water. A Canadian loves dog. So here is a Lake Huron, Lake Erie, Subble Beach. Subble Beach. That is a dog. The Great Lake. So it's uh, like a three-dimensional of, of five lakes. Sabo Beach. I love you, Daddy. I love you too. A skeleton right this way. Uh -huh. <laughs> All-star home design. Very funny. Bowl bar. Just a few minutes ago I was talking about the emigrates people and many of them kept their own old tradition like just the couple we saw before. They are Amish. They still into farming and they doing mainly for the traditional way try to not to use chemical well, I saw them they using tractor not just horse anymore the city is not big at all it's approximately 30,000 people living here. So for 30,000 people, this downtown is beautiful. There is no Walmart here, no any big. Is the Walmart? Yeah, it's there. But not in downtown. Yeah, we oh, outside. More. Yeah, outside. We bought it. Because usually when there's a Walmart show up, it kills all the small businesses. Somehow these guys manage to stay alive here. In downtown, the Walmart is so this is downtown and the Walmart is about 10 minutes drive, 5 minutes drive, but not in the downtown area. It's a 
a plaza over there, I know where is the Walmart, like there's a Canadian tire yeah. in a couple of other stores. Bentley's food, wine, beer. Stratford has a chef school, they training cooked here and uh, I'm not sure, I did not hear lately too much about it, but when I heard in the first time somebody bought the old, one, old church and modified it for a restaurant and not restaurant, the student chefs supplied, produced the food. And at what one point was worldwide no. However, when the pandemic came, just somehow everything was quiet around it. Here is an Asian restaurant. Let's see the menu. The colors look the way sweet and sour chicken boss, fourteen seventy-five. 16, 15, 15, shrimp, 19. They open for 30 pieces. Well, not cheap. 21, 22, 24, scallops. Not cheap. I mean, they maybe. For 30 oh, they're not open date, I'm just for <laughs> dinner. Oh, look at the t-shirt. I love a person I really like, not Ewarts. I love the pictures too. Look at the t-shirt. See, look at the hat. It's leather. Huh? A lot. Uh, as men purse or women purse? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Multisex, whoever is. Oh, my sister would love that. Owls. Owls. And there is an artist name. It's a beautiful store. Even the door handle is real, not fake. It's the horn. Yeah. So we go here in the other side, yeah. Coffee Buffon. Grace the Beauty, Cork, Uture, Studio, Scottish Shop, Wheels and Priaur, all kinds of small shops. Let's go. We can go here on the yeah. shortcut. We are going to take a shortcut. Hey, nothing happened. It's a strike. It says talk with two. But nothing happened. To 10 p.m. Oh, okay. A wrong time. Site of the Shakespeare Hotel. Oh, look at this cool decoration. I have no idea. It probably is light in night time. That hotel, yeah? It's hotel, Shakespeare Hotel. Of course, like Shakespeare. Stratford was, Shakespeare was born, but Stratford, England, not Stratford, Ontario, Canada. So here we go, some naughty words. Very nice. Look at that picture. Where we park? I see what's the room. I don't know. 
Okay, so we walk back to our car. It's an apartment building here. Probably it's very expensive. Oh, there is an empty canoe. No one is in. Oh! You see? Probably some teenager has too much time on his hand. <laughs> Somebody has to go and catch it. Even though the water is fairly cold, people sitting on the picnic table and enjoy the beautiful fall day and the beautiful colors. Then on the other side is an outside stage which is, has some cover from protecting from the weather. There's a lot of activity going on here in summertime. Almost every weekend something happens. Here comes the tour boat, Julia 3. Maybe he's going after the canoe, what we just saw. So apparently people can book a seat and go for a river tour. And the Canada geese, they are everywhere. And they are not my favorite birds, but they're shitting everywhere. So, and um, well, some places they are over the limit. You cannot sit on the grass because it's full with geese poop. But it's a people, because they're feeding them. And lately, they're not even going away for winter. Because what for? Because they're getting feed here. But behind me, the Luka Hockey Arena, and my car is parked in front of the arena. So unfortunately, it's time to say goodbye from Stratford. I have things to do close by. Need some more driving. So that was about it for Stratford. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.